Welcome to the fifth episode of Gel Press Printing. In the previous four, we've experimented with masking, finger painting, stenciling, pulling images from magazines, and today I would like to just see if we can combine some of those and get some accidental artwork. My name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I hope you'll take a moment and subscribe. And of course, the notification bell does let you know when I upload additional content. I purchased this Vogue magazine, the May edition. The quality of the magazine images are wonderful for retrieving them or pulling them off of the gel press. And I've picked a couple I like this image here, and I'm utilizing the little acrylic piece that Amanda sent me in a swap. Again, thank you, Amanda. I'm using it a lot, and I love it. It lets me visualize an index size image, and I, well, an index or an ATC is what I'm looking for. The word I'm looking for is an ATC size image, and I, I, I really like it. So these two images that I have chosen, I'm going to pull out of the magazine and set aside. I'm getting out my gel press. I have a couple of ATC size cards. My magazine images here set on the side, and I have chosen some colors of paint that I would like to work with. I love the uh, this turquoise green, the lighter green, it's an aqua green, the raw umber, iridescent white. And let's just see what we come up with. So this is my five by seven gel press. And I'm taking the baby wipe and just kind of cleaning off any residue that was left from my previous print. And I am going to wipe that down to get all of the baby wipe residue or the wetness off of it and get started by first laying down just some raw umber. And I'm laying this down in a thin, fine coat. We'll take this first image rub it with the brayer to make sure we have good contact. And there you can see that that image is showing very apparent on the gel press. And now I am going to pull that. I'm going to set it aside for just a minute because I think I would like to get some paint down on this ATC size piece of watercolor paper that I'm going to be using to pull the print. So a couple of things here. When you're using the magazine image, make sure you get a nice, fine, very even layer of paint on your gel press. Put your magazine paper down. Get really good contact with it by rubbing the brayer over the top of it. And now I'm taking a very pale yellow and putting it over the top of that image to retrieve that image from the gel press. So I've let it dry to the touch. And now I pulled that right up off of the gel press, just utilizing that um, other layer of paint, that yellow, to wet that a bit to retrieve it. So I hope that makes sense. Just going to ink around the outside edge of that ATC. and set that aside. So now I want to create a background. Um, I want to make sure that I pull off any additional residue off of that gel press. I don't want those other little images appearing on, on my print. And now I'm going to come back in with that raw umber. Again, a very fine layer of paint. And I'm going to go ahead and pull that second image and make sure that I I have both of these images. I'm doing kind of two at one time, so I'm not going from point A to point Z on one project. I'm kind of um, segmenting out the different steps. So I want to get these images pulled up on these ATC cards first. So there we go. There's that second image. And I think that 
I did that just on a white card, and I, I like the way that looks. It came off really nice. Now to pull the rest of this paint off, I'm just putting a thin coat of white on there, and we'll grab a stencil, lay that down, and we're going to create the background. Now what I'm doing here is just kind of removing, you can see me blotting, I'm removing the ink from where the stencil isn't. And now we have the white laid down first on that gel press. I'm going to come back with another stencil and just literally stencil onto the gel press with some raw umber. And I'd like to kind of get it in different areas on the gel press. So I've put it down in that corner and now I'm going to come back in with a third layer. And I think I'll use this stencil from Stencil Girl. And I'm coming back in with a black. So we have the white, the raw umber, and now a Mars black. And there. So there are my three colors laid down, three different stencils. Just going to, while that dries to the touch. I'm going to ink around the outside edge of this image. And I want to pick up another ATC card that's about the same size. I'm going to use that to mask off some of this background. And I am laying down a light gray. I'm going to put that right where I want to mask that off and I've cut some watercolor paper to the 5 by 7 size. Laying that down and there is my background and then that's a nice little pull too with that secondary ATC card. I'm going to be covering that spot up anyway. I thought this I could use the one that I masked with as a as a background for an ATC card and I will put the magazine pole where I left that white space on this. So it's, it, it isn't really a design element. I'm just trying to make the most out of my paint. So that's why I chose to to mask that off. So you could not do that and just put it, and I do that on it on another one, just put your card down over the background. But I kind of like I kind of like that thought process. It it helped me get kind of a two for one. So I have the background and I have an ATC card as well. I just cut this with my um, X-Acto knife to create like a little frame to see how this would look if I decided to put it inside a, a matted frame. And I'm I'm liking the way this looks. So I think I got a, a little piece of art out of that. And I also have a secondary piece from one of the second poles that I can use that ATC and lay that ATC card down. I went ahead and painted my little frame black to give it a more of a realistic look and what I would actually do. And I think both of these look kind of good. And I'm I'm really liking this one, the one with the, the two ladies. And now I want to get started with my lady in her hat that I used a yellow background. So I'm going to start with that pale yellow. Again, I'm going to come in with this same stencil. And I'm going to blot out the paint where the stencil is not. And that gives us a nice little background to use later as well, too. I'm just blotting once again. And look at the paint that I got 
got from that second blotting process. So there is a gel press with the yellow stenciled on. I'm going to allow that to dry to the touch and I'm just choosing a second stencil to come back in over the top. I'm going to do the same thing that we did in the in the first but we're going to make it look just a bit different. So I'm just making a stencil choice here and a color choice and I'm using that aqua green that we set out to use at the very beginning. And we kind of segued over into the browns but but I, th I think I'll like these colors together. And this is that Stencil Girl Stencil that has become one of my favorite stencils right now. So I'm using the turquoise green on top of that. And there are the three colors laid down. I'm just cleaning my brayer. And I save these sheets underneath, use them for wrapping paper and other projects. But now I'm blending the titanium white and the iridescent white and using that to pull my image. And we'll mask off where that little ATC goes. And here we go. And I am not overly fond of this with that image. I'm just not crazy about it. I'm going to see if I can use a darker color and get a secondary pull on this and see what that produces. I haven't cut any other sheets. And I like the browns a little bit better, but I'm also not incredibly fond of that secondary pole either. But we will come back and use that for something else. So I'm going to start with a pale yellow once again. And not every, not every pole is perfect, right? We'll stick some just random mandalas down and blot those out. Allow that to dry to the touch. We'll use these fractured circles with yellow ochre. So I'm going the pale yellow, coming back with the darker yellow ochre. And now to decide what the final stencil will be. And I think I will be utilizing this one that we've been use, using on the other, the other prints. And I am coming back with a, a brown, a raw umber. Cleaning my brayers to get ready to pull this image. I'm just kidding. There was a couple of spots where the paint looked really thick, so I just blotted that a bit. And this is the um, dark titanium white. It's uh, like a buff white, and I'm utilizing just a, a deeper deeper white and that I like quite well. I think she's a little too yellow but we'll take care of that with a little vintage photo ink and darken her up a bit and I'm lightly rubbing over the entire image with that vintage photo. And now I think she looks appropriate and like she fits in real well on this little background. So there is my second little piece, or third piece actually. We use the ATC card to create one. So now we have three little pieces of accidental art.
And I think these would look real nice sitting in a frame. And I'm just going to try to finish off that other little print that we started and see if I can come up with something for these lighter colors. So I'm laying the yellow down with that stencil girl stencil. Once again, just dry to a light touch, thin coat of paint. And I'm trying to decide on what colors I'm going to use and which stencil, but I think I will choose this stencil and stick with my yellow ochre. And allowing that to dry to a light touch, coming back in with some of that um, turquoise green and just kind of very random with that around the edges and through the center and we will pull with that uh, titanium white mask off a section for that ATC so we can get an ATC and a background to use. And there I, I like that ATC size card. Not totally happy. So let's work it over a bit more and take that second pull and see what we come up with. I pulled it the second time with a with a light yellow. And there. Now I'm now I'm a little happier. So it, it took a few a few tries on the press, but that's what this is all about is just experimenting, trying, accepting the failures, but <clears throat> being happy with the pieces that we get that in my opinion, are sometimes just accidental. So here I think this looks good together. This second pull on the press is the background, and the first pull was the ATC, so it gives that uh, lighter background with the darker version of the same print on the ATC. This is that background that the ATC came from, utilizing that magazine image pull as the focal point. And I don't like um, where that little white edge is there, so I'm going to pull out my Sharpie and just cover that up and with a straight line across the bottom. And then I have these chit chat words from Tim Holtz. So let's hit that with the Sharpie. And the words don't judge me will stick on there. And I think that that can make a nice little page in, in my art journal or I could put it in a frame and that would be kind of cute as well, if cute is the appropriate word, but I think it would look nice. It will likely go in my art journal. And there is my little lady with the hat and I think she will look good. And now what to do with this light piece I'm not really a vibrant color person, so I never truly ever really like the light color images that I get. I prefer the browns and the and the darker colors. I don't know why, but that's just me. And I'm utilizing the saying, hang on and allow me to overthink this or let me overthink this a bit. And that seemed pretty appropriate for me and the light colors. So here we go again, and the final rendition. There's the ATC from the first pull and the second pull of the background. The first background pull and the magazine image ATC size card. Looks like I have two of those. And the ATC size pull card and the background, and then this 
background that I overthaw it and kept working on. But once again, my name is Peg. I call my channel Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I'm really thankful that you are here. If you have subscribed, I appreciate it. And your comments make me happy. So keep them coming. I enjoy looking at them and they're very inspiring. Bye for now.